Okay, so when I first moved to, to Texas, you've been here longer than I have. How long? 17 years? 16 17, years? yeah. And I've been here about three years now. I don't know. I lost count. And I, I remember that's right, but. one day on the air, I said something about brazos, like brazos bend. I didn't realize that in Texas, we say brazos. Brazos. Brazos bend. Yeah. Okay, my Spanish training kicked in. And apparently, that's one of hundreds of very complicated words when it comes to Texas towns. So we thought we'd play a little game. Do, are we going to play the video first? Do you guys want to see this? Okay, so if you've seen the video, it's a viral video. Um, one of our producers actually sent it to me a couple days ago. Check it out. It's hilarious. So I'm from San Antonio, Texas, uh, which I do pronounce correctly. I would like to go ahead and apologize to the good people of Texas right now for, for what's about to happen. What is a groin? That's not right. Groin. <laughs> groin now? It's like a kid misspelled green. It's green? Is it really green? Oh, just spell it normal. I feel like I'm being tricked. This is too easy because that's a real word. That's not humble. No? Humble. Humble. Which is actually the way you pronounce that word. That I mean, is, see, it's tricky. It is. You know what else that a lot of people mispronounce, too, is um, Brookshire. And they say Brookshire when oh, they first move here. Brookshire. But it's Brookshire. Brookshire. But it's spelled Brookshire. Brookshire. Yeah, but it's Brookshire. Oh, okay. You want to play along? Yeah, let's play along. So I think the way this is going to work is we're going to have about six rounds, and you and I will compete against each other. I would like to point out, though, because Courtney has been here so much longer, I think you have a little bit of an advantage. Some of these towns I never even heard of in the video, though. So I have no idea. I, we don't know what's coming, and I'm sure they dug deep. And we do apologize, like the woman in the video said, we do apologize if we butcher some of these names, but we promise to do our best. So, word number one, how, are you guys going to put it on the screen? Okay, it's on the screen. Refugio. I'm going to say Refugio. I have no idea. Well, give it, give it a go. Love Ren the music Freo? voice, by the way. There's no R. Re there's no N. I don't know. Refreo? Refugio. No, that's not it either. Okay, well, uh, if Is we it? could have... I don't know. I'm playing the game, too. Is that it? Could, hey, could... hey, guys, can you hear me? We, we can hear you. We have hey, our, our special judge who's going to weigh in. Hey, hey guys, hey, that, that word's actually refurio. Refurio? Refu yeah. Refurio. Yeah, there's a silent, invisible R in there. Refurio. Refur okay. Invisible R, refurio. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Okay, well. All right, move along. Zero for zero. Word number two. Stuff. <laughs> uh. Courtney? Stude Butte. Study Butte is really what I want to say. Stud. Studi? Studi Butte? Study Butt. Stud <laughs> looks like Study Butt, don't it? <laughs> looks like a Study Butt. Looks like Study Butt. It ain't. Gonna say, uh, it ain't. Stur sturdy, what is it? Sturdy Butte? It's Studi Butte. <laughs> Studi Butte. Studi Butte. Studi Butte. Just like some beef stew? Studi Butte. Okay. okay. Terrible. I Move along. I stewed the Butte. Where, where are these places, by the way? We need a map. Yeah. Oh, Studi I know Butte. this one. Bear County. Yep, that's it. Bear County. <laughs> okay. Did well, you know that? No. I would have said, like, Bexar County. Yeah, everybody does. Okay, moving on. Our fourth word. Yvaldi. Is... See, I knew you would know some of these. Yvaldi, that looks feasible. Looks like Yvaldi, but the locals pronounce it Yvaldi. Yvaldi. Uvaldi. Uvaldi. You gotta have the long, real long A. <laughs> just like Brazos. You just like Brazos. Just That's like right. Brazos. Okay. Doesn't, Any more? Doesn't Brazos mean arms in Spanish? See? It's a river. Yeah. It's, it means river in Texas. Okay. You wanna try this one? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say burn. I'm gonna say the O is silent on this one. Burn. Bernie. Weekend at Bernie's. Bernie. It's Bernie? Bernie. I knew that one. That's great. You've known three, the last three. Very impressive. No, that, I got it wrong in the last one, didn't Oh, that's I? true. Yeah. You did. Study okay. or you're, something? you're still beating my study. <laughs> last one's local, y'all. Okay. Last oh, Kirk oh, Kirkendall. Kirkendall. Don't do ask us Kirkendall. to spell it, but we can pronounce it. That's it. I ding, do ding, know Kirkendall. Ding, 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 ding. You know, wow. if you, you guys should check out that video. It's actually really funny. There's a really good one on there that I can't say on the air right now. It's hilarious. Why can't you say it? Because I'd get some sort of FCC fine the way that you want to pronounce it. Oh, dear. <laughs> The word that got me was Mexia. Yeah. Mejia? Mejia. 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 -E but it looks like Mexia. I -A, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the, the, the green gets people. Bernie gets people. Um, 
The other one on there is um, Palestine, Texas. Instead of Palestine? But it's spelled like Very that, confusing. but it's Palestine, right? Yeah. Uh, New Braunfels is one. Yeah. Also, I mean, when you look at the map of Texas, you will see all kinds of things like Bigfoot, Hogeye, Uncertain, Nameless. Nameless Texas. We should go to these places. <laughs> Texas is so big. I know, but we could do like a road trip show. I'm in Nameless, Texas. And it would take Where a month Where is Nameless, to Texas? Does anybody know in this room? North no? North Zolsi, Zipperlandville. Zipper <laughs> Nim Nimrod. Where's Nimrod? Is that how we pronounce it? Maybe it's not even how you pronounce it. I have no idea. Oh but my gosh. in case you were wondering uh, who we had on the phone, oh, it wasn't anyone on the phone at all, folks. There he is. Chris Herring, one of our directors here at Houston Life, and he was kind enough to share his vocal talents with our little show today. So thank you, Chris, for your lovely pronunciations. He's fantastic. He was also Uncle Fester on our Halloween show.